Electric cars have been quite pricey, even for enthusiasts who own and appreciate them. Ever wonder why they come with such a hefty price tag? Even for a decent family EV, you're looking at shilling out a minimum of $30,000. That's pretty steep, right? But here's the exciting part. Those high prices might not stick around for much longer. Yeah, you heard that right. EV prices are gearing up to take a nosedive. And that's not just wishful thinking this time. Trust us, we've been keeping our eye on this. You see, a few key factors suggest a significant drop in EV prices on the horizon. And when we say significant, we mean a game changer. It's not just idle speculation. There are solid reasons behind this prediction. Now, we get it. We've heard promises of cheaper electric cars before, only to be left waiting, but you know, this time feels different. The stars seem to be aligning, and it's about time we dive into why. Reason number one why electric cars will become more affordable boils down to simple economics supply and demand. Despite a slight dip in demand last year, there's been no slowdown in the production of electric vehicles. In fact, it's been quite the opposite. Now, why the sudden surge in production? Well, part of it has to do with government regulations. You see, policymakers are pushing for a greener future, and one way they're doing that is by imposing targets on car manufacturers. These targets, known as the Zero Emissions Vehicle, or ZEV, mandate, require a certain percentage of each automaker's lineup to be purely electric. As of now, the mandate dictates that at least 22% of every car maker's range must be electric. And it doesn't stop there. These targets ramp up over the years, reaching 100% by 2035. That means car manufacturers are under pressure to churn out more electric vehicles to meet these requirements. Now, with so many electric cars flooding the market, competition is fierce. And what's the best way for manufacturers to make their vehicles stand out? You guessed it, by making them more affordable. It's a simple strategy. If you want to attract buyers who might still be hesitant about switching from traditional petrol or diesel vehicles, offering a competitive price is key. So, as more electric cars hit the streets, manufacturers will likely start slashing prices to stay ahead of the game. It's just basic supply and demand dynamics. For consumers, that means a wider range of affordable electric options to choose from. Win-win, right? The second reason we believe EVs are poised to become more affordable for a broader audience revolves around the increasing availability of used electric cars. Now, one of the simplest ways to get behind the wheel of a new EV is through leasing or financing, especially if you're using it as a company car. There are substantial tax breaks for doing so in many countries, which makes it an attractive option for many businesses. As a result, more and more of these leased electric cars are hitting the end of their lease periods and entering the resale market. This influx of used electric cars translates to more choices and lower prices for consumers. It's a win-win situation. Plus, let's talk about depreciation. While some may criticize EVs for their higher initial depreciation in the world of used cars, this can actually work in your favor. The prices of used electric cars drop rapidly, making them more affordable for those in the market. Now, we know what you might be thinking, how about the battery life? That's a valid concern, but here's the thing. Even those cheaper used electric cars often come with substantial battery warranties that are still intact. So, reason number three why electric cars are bound to become more affordable is quite straightforward. Tesla. Uh, let's face it, Tesla holds significant sway in the electric car market. When they make a move, the whole industry takes notice. Case in point, last year, Tesla slashed the price of the Model Y by a whopping $3,000. Now that's no small change. But here's where it gets interesting. Because Tesla is such a major player, its actions send ripples throughout the market. When it drops prices, other automakers follow suit. It's a domino effect. Suddenly, you see competitors scrambling to keep up, whether it's by lowering their prices, offering better financing options, or throwing in additional discounts. In fact, the average discount on a new vehicle right now is more than 10% off the list price, and some car makers are going down even further, with discounts exceeding that figure. So thanks to Tesla's influence and the competitive nature of the electric car market, consumers are reaping the benefits in the form of lower prices and better deals. It's like a win-win situation for everyone involved. Except for maybe traditional gas-guzzling cars, but hey, that's a whole other story. Reason number four why EVs are poised to become more affordable centers around the rise of manufacturers like BYD, or Build Your Dreams, from China. While Tesla often steals the spotlight, it's important to note that BYD actually became the biggest selling electric car brand in the world last year. So how did they do it? 
uh, by selling a staggering number of cars in China. And now they're setting their sights on Europe with one clear goal, to replicate their success by selling heaps of cars over here too. What gives BYD and other Chinese manufacturers an edge? Well, it all boils down to cost. Thanks to low battery production costs in China, companies like BYD, GWM, and even MG can undercut their European counterparts while still turning a profit. Let us paint you a picture. In China, a BYD Dolphin can go for as low as $16,760. Impressive, right? Even after factoring in important tariffs and other taxes, the price in the UK still hovers around 25,000 euros and $38,890 in the US, but compared to its rivals, that's still a pretty sweet deal. And it's not just BYD making waves. Brands like Neo and many others are also entering the fray with some seriously intriguing offerings. So what does all of this mean for consumers? Well, with more competition from these Chinese manufacturers and their innovative designs, EV prices are likely to continue trending downward. After all, who doesn't love a good deal on a sleek electric ride? So, on to reason number five why EVs are inevitably going to become more affordable. It's a pretty straightforward reality check for traditional European car manufacturers. Let's break it down. Right now, buying an electric car will typically set you back around 35% more than its petrol-powered counterpart, right? Ouch. This significant price difference is mainly due to the higher materials and development costs associated with EVs. Batteries in particular are a major contributor to this cost gap. Not only do they require substantial amounts of energy to produce, but they also rely on pricey raw materials. But here's the silver lining. Battery production costs are on a downward trajectory. As technology advances and economies of scale kick in, the cost of making batteries is steadily decreasing. It's a trend that's only going to continue as manufacturers refine their processes and suppliers become more efficient. Now here's where rubber meets the road, pun obviously intended. Faced with a sluggish EV market and growing consumer demand for affordable electric options, European car brands have a simple choice. Adapt or face the consequences. It's a classic case of survival of the fittest. Either they lower their prices to compete with petrol equivalents or risk being left behind in the dust. So as the pressure mounts and market dynamics shift, it's inevitable that traditional car manufacturers will have to make some tough decisions. For consumers, that means one thing. More affordable electric cars are on the horizon. It's just a matter of time. Reason number six why EV prices are on a downward trajectory is the decreasing cost of batteries. According to Bloomberg, EV battery prices have plummeted by a staggering 89% between 2010 and 2020, despite this not always being apparent to consumers. So let's explore why this is happening. First, economies of scale play a significant role. Simply put, the more batteries manufacturers produce, the cheaper they become to make. This principle applies across industries and has a profound effect on reducing production costs. Secondly, manufacturers are localizing the extraction and processing of raw materials for batteries. This not only saves on costs, but also reduces carbon emissions associated with transportation. Another key factor is the establishment of gigafactories by car companies to produce batteries where the vehicles are assembled. Take Nissan, for example, investing billions in constructing such facilities in places like Sunderland, UK. Furthermore, car companies are becoming increasingly adept at repairing and repurposing existing batteries. Tesla boasts that 100% of its batteries are recycled, contributing to environmental sustainability while also driving down costs. However, perhaps the most exciting aspect is the emergence of new battery types. While all EV batteries utilize some form of lithium-ion technology, there is a myriad of other ingredients that can be incorporated to reduce costs. For instance, lithium-ion phosphate or LFP batteries offer a slightly shorter range but are cheaper to produce. Tesla utilizes LFP batteries in the cheapest version of the Model Y, enabling them to slash the price by $3,000. So there you have it. These are the six compelling reasons why we firmly believe that electric cars are on the brink of becoming more affordable now than ever before. Now, I know what you might be thinking, you know, isn't all of this just wishful thinking? I certainly hope not. But as they say, the proof is in the pudding. So we'll see if these predictions hold. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.